for helping me fix the Jeep, son. No problem, Walnut. I'm gonna take a shower. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go look at our utility bills. Wow, the electric bill sure is high. Here comes the rain again. The gas bill is too. Is he running up there? Hold on, look at this water bill. I think it's time we start conserving water. In this video, we're going to use an ESP8266 to track how long the shower is going. Once the time is up, we will use the Wi-Fi with the website IFTTT to toggle the lights. Let's get to it. This project is for Element 14's Project 14 Challenge. Check them out online to learn about other projects for water conservation and engineering challenges across the world. In our project, we're going to use this temperature probe to measure the temperature of the hot water supply to the shower. Once it heats up for five minutes, the ESP will connect to IFTTT to toggle lights. We're going to use the Arduino IDE to program the ESP. Our first challenge, though, is getting the program on the ESP. It is not breadboard friendly. Having the pins in a 2x4 layout makes it impossible to put it on without shorting it out. So first, we're going to make a circuit board that we can use to program it. Let's use KiCad to design the circuit and then solder it up. Click the icon in the top right of the screen to see a deep dive video on how to use KiCad. We also have a deep dive video showing the making of the board. Now that we have the board to flash it, let's write the program. If you prefer to skim text to learn, you can go to Element 14's Project 14 section to review our blog. This will show you our code and how to set up the Arduino IDE. To do so, just copy that JSON address there and paste it under File, Preferences, Additional Boards Manager. You can then activate it under Tools, Board, and then Board Manager. Just type in ESP8266 and install it. After doing so, open the HTTPS request example. Then, download the OneWire and Dallas temperature libraries. They let you read the temperature probe. Once you locate it as shown here, just click install. Then, go after the other one. Now, we can combine the code from the Dallas Simple example with the HTTPS request example. Again, you can get this code at Element 14's Project 14. Just search for shower timer and you'll find it or type in the link below. To have your ESP trigger your wall switch, set up at ifttt.com. This lets you link all your IoT devices. Click on New Applet. Then this. Search or scroll to webhooks. Now, click on that to find your light switch. We have a Wemo. Select your response to the trigger. I'm going to rename it Flip to Shower Light. Now you need to get the URL webhook to place in your code. Click on webhooks, then documentation. Now copy and paste this line into the code and deploy your program into the ESP. 
Now we just need a circuit board to join the ESP and the temperature probe together to give the circuit power. The schematic here will allow for very stable power from a wall wart. Since we are prototyping, we are going to just use a battery, so we'll leave off the capacitors with no worries. That resistor will pull up the one wire data pin high. So let's tape it to the pipe and try it out. I'm going to wrap it with this insulating foam. I'm wrapping it with this insulating foam so it gives a better representative temperature. Now I'm going to hook the battery to it. Should just be a couple more seconds. Oh well, at least we'll save on electricity. That's as stuck as it's gonna get. Nice catch. <laughs> I've been, I'm not trying to, your face is beat red. <laughs>